Hi, my name is Jacob Bustillos, and this visit video is for the Rexburg Family History Center patrons as a visual guide in setting up how to convert your 35mm film and slide to digital format. Now we have it already set up over here. This box right here is going to have all the contents that you need. You'll need to go to the front register, front to uh, front podium up there where the where the where the history center workers are to check this out. And the reason being is because there's a lot of small pieces in it. They don't want to get it. They don't want to lose any pieces for anybody that would be using it in the future. One of the one of the parts that you'll be using um, that you may use is this adapter right here. Uh, this has multiple USB ports and card slots. And this is to help you if you have, for your storage device, if you happen to have a USB, but you don't have a memory card slot, you can actually convert and take your media from one, from one storage device into another. These right here are the different slides that you'll be using. And each one of these slides actually pertains and fits a certain type of film that you'll be scanning. So depending on what type of film that you'll be scanning and doing, you will need to get the appropriate slot and insert for it. Well, this is the actual device right here. And this little device right here will have everything set up for you. Uh, what you can do is you can actually convert all your media from this little device itself, or there is actually an HDMI cord that you can connect to a, this second monitor, and you just plug it into the back of this. And once you have that plugged in, this screen is gonna go black, and then you'll have to watch, uh, see the other video so that you can get everything set up on the software side. Essentially what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to the settings on the computer and change the display so that you can actually display everything that's all the contents uh, from this little device onto this second monitor. And this will allow you just to see uh, your picture on a larger frame, on a larger computer. So for this purpose, we'll just do it straight from this machine. So right here I have an insert and then I have a slide. Now, in order to save the media, this device actually actually captures the media for you. So you always need to have an SD card plugged into here. And if you don't have one, that's okay. There is a, there are two SD cards that are within within the within the contents of the box. And I would just recommend checking um, prior to starting. If you have a lot of slides to do, um, go ahead and format this the, the the memory card and what that means is just go ahead and go check the device check what's on this memory card and delete its contents so that you can start fresh and then when it when it goes to transitioning if you have a usb storage device if you're going to transition and move those contents you can just select all and move it very easily so once that once that memory card is plugged in and you've got your insert and your image right in there as you want. You will slide it right down here into the bottom. And then it will display itself right there. Once you're ready and you got it positioned where you need to, click the camera button. It'll save it onto that, that memory card. And then you can move on to the next slide.